Yes, 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 Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Yesterday, some photos of Edwin Sifuna, Junet Mohammed, David Murabe, Raphael Tuju, and Maoka Maore surfaced online. And then later in the day, this video emerged. <laughs> From that video, you can see clearly that Jubilee Party was represented by David Murabe and Raphael Tuju. And then ODM Party was also represented by Edwin Sifuna and Junet Mohammed. <coughs> Those are very close allies of the president and also the party leader. And then today, if you look at today's nation newspaper, it captures a story in its headline. Uhuru Raila Craft Coalition for 2022. That's nation newspaper today, Friday, 18th of June 2021. And if you read through that story, it just captures a story of Uhuru and Raila trying to consummate the handshake thing into a political formation towards 2022. And Murade makes it very, very clear that they did that because they received orders from their party leaders. Or rather, they received some direction from their party leaders to make sure they lay for out strategies to consummate the handshake thing into a political formation for 2022 general election. Murabe makes that very, very clear if you read through that publication. And then, folks, for some of us who have been in this YouTube channel, or for those who have been following this YouTube channel, that's not news to us. Because some of these things that happened yesterday, we have been deliberating about them almost on a daily basis in this YouTube channel. But what really drew my attention to what happened yesterday, why now? Why were these two political allies just meeting at a time when Kalonzo Musioka made some statements, whether it was misquoted or not, because new details have also emerged about the Kalonzo issue, though that's a story for another time. Whether Kalonzo was misquoted or not, Kalonzo's statement was sending somehow as a mixed signal. Was sending a mixed signal. And also Musaila Mudavadi also made some statement that was really sending some mixed signal. So why were these people meeting at a time when Kalonzo and Mudavadi seems to be reading from a different script? That's our dis discussion today in this video right now. And in case you've bumped on this YouTube channel, for the very, very first time, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. In this YouTube channel, we do a daily political analysis on current and latest political news and events. In order not to miss any of our videos, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell. I also kindly implore upon you to give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. Yes. Straight away to our discussion now. 
why was Jubilee an ODM party meeting at a time Kalonzo Musyoka and Musalia Mudavadi seems to be sending mixed signals? Why, why, why? That's the question now, and that's our discussion. The first reason I strongly believe that ODM and Jubilee met at a time Kalonzo and Mudavadi seems to be sending mixed signals was to send a clear picture to Kalonzo and also Mudavadi and also that group that there is no time for arguments. We all know, ladies and gentlemen, that it's only remaining about 13 months to the general election. Only 13 months. So ODM and Jubilee Party wanted to send a clear message to Kalonzo and Mudavadi that irrespective of what happens, whether they decide to work with Raila or not, ODM Party and Jubilee Party have decided to work together no matter what. They have decided to work together no matter what happens. They will be together for the 2022 general election. I believe that's the first message or the first reason they met yesterday. At a time, Kalonzo and Mudavadi are sending mixed signals. That's the first reason. The second reason, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that ODM and Jubilee Party met yesterday to propel a Raila Gideon Moy pact to the other side of Kalonzo and Mudavadi. Because from what is happening currently, there seems to be no clear direction. And you know, as long as there is no direction, then reaching a consensus can be very, very hard at times. So ODM and Jubilee Party, being the senior most partners in the handshake team, wanted to give out a clear direction that as from their side, they are propelling a Raila Gideon Moy ticket. Now the other side of Kalonzo and Mudavadi and also Wetangula should also come together and agree among them who will be their leader and who will, depu who will deputize that leader. And that will just make it very, very easy for these two groups to reach a consensus. I strongly believe that's the second reason. The third reason, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the other side, or rather ODM and Jubilee Party, met yesterday to humble the likes of Kalonzo and Musala Mudavadi, to, to humble them so that they can come to something like, to, so that they can come to a negotiating table. Because now, ODM and Jubilee want to make it very, very clear to them that as much as Kalonzo and Mudavadi are still buying their time, ODM and Jubilee are now forging on. They are now forging on and uh, they are just planning on how they will tackle 2022 election. So the, the meeting yesterday was to humble those people that even though they are still buying time, ODM and Jubilee are forging on. And this, this was meant to humble them to very, very first come to the negotiating table. The fourth reason, ladies and gentlemen, that move yesterday by ODM and Jubilee was to give assurance to the supporters of both ODM and Jubilee that the principles of the handshake are together and working together. You know, some supporters of Raila and even Uhuru Kenyatta, upon Kalonzo Musyoka making the statements, you know, some were getting confused and some were taking that maybe this was just Uhuru Kenyatta clever games hmm, to speak through Kalonzo and also Mudavadi. So supporters of both Uhuru and Raila were getting confused. So me the meeting yesterday was to send a clear signal and give out an assurance that the principles of the handshake, being the president and also Raila Amolo Odinga, are together and they are working together. And that the statement by Kalonzo and also Mudavadi does not in any way represent the views of the president. That was the reason, I believe that that's the fourth reason though these two parties might, might have met yesterday.
to give out that assurance. And also, ladies and gentlemen, finally, ODM and Jubilee Party might have met yesterday because anytime there is there seems to be a discord in the handshake team, the person who benefits is not Kalonzo or Mudavadi, but one William Ruto. And from where I sit, and your guess can be as good as mine, that any time there seems to be a discord in the handshake, Uhuru, Ruto benefits. And the last person, Uhuru Kenyatta, and even the deep state, would want to see anywhere near state house is one William Ruto. So, in the past two days, as Kalonzo was reading from a different script and also Musaila Mudavadi, William Ruto was getting stronger or rather getting some credit. So the meeting yesterday was to make sure they counter that, to make sure they kill eh, the kind of strength that William Ruto might have gotten in those past two days, which I am very, very sure they did achieve yesterday. So I believe those are the five main reasons as to why ODM and Jubilee Party met yesterday, to make sure they consummate Mm. The handshake thing into a political formation going towards 2022. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, is just meant to also send a clear signal that Uhuru and Raila are in this thing <laughs> for the long run. They are, they are not joking. They are serious about this thing, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, folks, just as I did mention when we were starting, if you've bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, Subscribe and also touch on the notification bell. Kindly give this video a like. Give it a like, please. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana, yes.